Now tell me who will win. If the fight will happen, fight will occur between A and C, then who is going to win over this battle? Do you know? Of course, you will see. Hello dear friends, welcome to Pruta Science. This is Dr. Jitan Kumar, his difficulty. Today we are going to discuss an important topic of Indian history that is a very important aspect of Indian society and economy at that time. And this topic is feudalism debate in Indian history. It is always considered that India had feudalism in early medieval time. Some people argue no, feudalism was not there in India. Some people say feudalism was there in Indian history. So today we are going to discuss that aspect of feudalism only and we will try to understand whether India had feudalism or not. Okay. So let us discuss some previous year question paper both asked in prelims and history optional paper. Okay. So in the previous year uh, this is a PYQ and the question is that with reference to the Indian history which of the following is are the essential elementary aspects of feudal system. Okay. The option A is a very strong centralized political authority, a very strong centralized political authority and a very weak provincial or local political authority. Okay. So one is a very powerful, one is a very weak local authority. And then the B is the emergence of administrative structure based on control position of land. Third is creation of the Lord vessel relationship between feudal lord and his overlord. Okay, lord vessel relationship is the keyword and then it is based on the control of the position of land. So these are the three aspects on which the questions had been asked. Select the correct answer using the code below 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 only 1, 2 and 3. Okay, this is the questions. We will come to the answer of this question in the last after we discuss this topic. Okay. So, and this is a questions that we can discuss here. The question is discuss the features of feudalism in Indian history. How was it different from the feudalism in Europe? And you have to answer this in 250 words. We will discuss this also in the last. Okay. So, firstly, let us understand what is feudalism. Okay. So, in Indian history, the feudalism started from new social and political groups, which is also mentioned in class. 7 NCRT book, new NCRT. Okay. So, in India, the feudalism will start from the tax free land grant. Okay. So, Indian feudalism starts from tax free land grant. So, let us discuss how Indian feudalism started in India. So, when we discuss Indian feudalism, it is Indian feudalism. Okay. This topic is Indian feudalism, and this will from the new social and political groups and other is a European feudalism. We have European feudalism. Alright. So, in India, what was happening during the time of Gupta? During the time of Gupta, there were two types of land grant. There were two types of land grant. So, it was a tax free land grant tax free land grant one was agrahara agrahara which was given to religious and educational purposes it was given to religious and educational purposes so religious will be temple temple and educational will be university like nalanda university okay and then we have a brahmadev which was given to the personal use and the maintenance of brahmans brahmans okay so, do you know what will happen? Suppose, now what will happen? Let us say the lands have been given, lands have been given. So, what will happen? Suppose, this is a Gupta Empire. This is Gupta Empire. And let us say, Gupta Empire had given land grant, Gupta had given Brahmade. How, what? Brahmade land grant to 500 people. How many? To 500 people. Okay, 500 individual. Do you know what will happen here? Here, what we see that in this Gupta period, what will happen? The king who had given land to this one, these people will not pay taxes. 
no taxes to the team because these are the tax free land grounds now these people are economically powerful so they will maintain army also they will maintain army also in the future in the future what will happen when these things when the king is not powerful not powerful and it had no large professional army they will seek the help of these individual they will ask and please help me please help me for army so now these this individual these individuals these brahmade land individuals who are called as samant who are called called as samant will be more powerful as compared to the king the king will have to depend over this samant the king will have to depend over this samant so this is the way now this individual called samans will be more powerful and dominated the king so the rise of feudalism in india led to the decline of gupta empire and feudalism was very flourishing especially in the indian history especially in the time of early medieval period early medieval period and this period in indian history is especially known from 750 ad to 1200 ad all right so in india the feudalism will become like this one we will discuss the steps so this is a relation between the the king that is a grantor and the the samant which is a receiver and the relation is for the land the relation is for the land and this is a decentralization of power that the local people are becoming powerful this is the system which will lead to the rise of rajputs in the early medieval time so new social groups will be coming with the coming of these features so rajputs will become powerful so one group will become powerful at this time because rajputs were not only kshatriya rajputs were not only kshatriya there were many brahmans there were many brahman varna who also become rajputs in the early medieval time that we will discuss in a separate video about okay so there is a emergence of new social groups and political groups so one people if the one people will become powerful if there will be economic changes so one people will become powerful so one become powerful then of course the other become poor that other other will be the one who will be dominated so new type of social differences came into existence in that time in this india so this is the way the indian feudalism started in europe what happened in europe what happened in the europe in the 9th century ad 9th century ad greco roman empire declined so with the with the decline of greco roman empire the feudalism is coming into existence the feudalism is coming into existence in europe let us see how how this is happening so suppose that this is a state this is one state that is a greco roman empire it will decline in 9th century around so let us say there are five states let us say there are five state in whole europe in the 9th century there are five states in the whole europe in the 9th century and let us see that these five states have let us say these are the feudal lords okay these are the feudal lords okay so what will happen suppose state a suppose that state a had 50 feudal lords had 50 feudal lords okay while state c just has 20 feudal lords state c had just 20 feudal lords now tell me who will win if the fight will happen fight will occur between a and c then who is going to win over this battle do you know of course you will say that a will win okay a will win but these things these states are dependent on their feudal lords now say if this out of this 50 the 30 out of this 50 the 30 will support c so now the 30 now the c will have 30 plus 20 that become 50 inke baad 50 ho gaya and now it has only 20 so of course a will be defeated a will be defeated by c and now who will be powerful c of course you will say c will be powerful c but the point is that no these 50 lords will be powerful these 50 lords will be powerful because because of the 50 lords the c was able to win over a so this is the way 
now the state will be weak now a a had already been defeated c is not powerful b is not powerful so these these all the feudal lords these all feudal lords in europe will be the most powerful at that time it is said that between the 10th century to 15th century the whole europe the whole europe was divided into five to five hundred different feudal lords so this is the rise of feudalism in india this is the rise of feudalism in europe now let us see the three concept and the historical debate on feudalism which will help us to solve our questions okay so in europe in europe this is the main division in the feudalism okay so at the top the king was there at the top under king the word was coming big lords big lords and they were known as dukes and earls the big lords is one under big lords we have several lo uh, lesser lords who are known as barons under barons we have a lowest lords called knights so first is a king then dukes and earls then barons and the knights and all the lords were called are the vassals of their land this is the main division in europe the relationship the one people will give land to other other will give to land others and then the workers will be working in that and the lowest units of the lords in that time was knights okay in india so now let us we have seen that how feudalism came into existence in india this is the main example that we discuss in this topic okay so now let us see that what is the historian say and i will tell you other important point that what is the most important feature what is the most important characteristics characteristics of feudalism how do we identify that feudalism is there so do you know in case of hero in case of hero these are the important points which is said to be the main character so what will happen in feudalism there won't be market okay market is not there market is not there then trade will not happen trade will not happen then city will not be there city will not be there if trade is not happening then money is not required money is not required these are the main things which are absent in feudalism okay so on these aspects only indian historians say that india also had no feudalism in that time and then some people say india had feudalism so i have chosen some of the five historians and let us see what is the argument of these important historians of indian history the first person say the first person is a very famous historian called r s sharma okay r s sharma argues that india in the in early medieval time between the 750 to 1200 had feudalism so r s sharma say india had feudalism so now let us say how he is saying india had feudalism he said that this land grants the land grants which were that are tax free that we discuss now tax free land grant this tax free land grant called brahmadev led to the rise of feudalism in india and he say india had a decline of urbanism so there is a decline of city center in india so there is a decline of city center in india in the early medieval time and then there is a decline of trade also do you know in the gupta period the trade with the greco roman empire had completely been declined declined aisa nahi tha the decline isliye hua ki india was not powerful in the same time the greco roman empire was also declining that is why the trade had been declined other thing he say that there was a prevalence of forced labor there is a prevalence of forced labor the forced labor and in the gupta time the forced labor is named named as Vishti. Vishti is an important word which is defined as the forced labor in Indian history. So we can say uh, these are the three important concepts to one land grant, decline in urban centers and trade, and prevalence of Vishti that is forced labor. We can say that the feudalism was there. Other person say yes, this is a land grant led to feudalism and this was a period of political decentralization. The power had been distributed. from the hands of the the centralized king to the hands of the feudal lords okay but there is a person called bd chatopadhyay bd chatopadhyay say no the feudalism was not there why he said the land grant cannot be a cause of feudal debate land grant cannot be a cause of feudal debates in this time okay he questions the idea of urban decay he said no 
देर वॉज नो डिक्लाइन ऑफ ट्रेड सेंटर देर नो डिक्लाइन ऑफ ट्रेड सेंटर्स और सिटी ट्रेड सेंटर्स और सिटी बिकॉज इन द अर्ली मिडिवल टाइम ओनली इफ यू रिमेंबर नाइन्थ टेंथ सेंचुरी इलेवेंथ सेंचुरी द चोला वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पावरफुल एम्पायर ऑफ एशिया बिकॉज हाउ द चोला हैड अ कॉलोनी इन श्रीलंका दे हैड अ कॉलोनी इन म्यांमार दे हैड अ कॉलोनी इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया साउथ ईस्ट एशिया दे हैड अ ट्रेड विथ चाइना ओके एंड दे ऑल्सो हैड अ ट्रेड विथ ग्रीक सो बट वी सी दिस पीपल इन दिस टाइम द चोला वॉज मोस्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पावरफुल स्टेट सो एंड देर आर राइज ऑफ सेंटर्स ऑफ मेनी सिटीज लाइक देर अ सिटी कॉल क्रॉज बिकम वेरी पावरफुल इन दिस टाइम क्रॉज उज्जैन एंड ऑल सो वी कान से दैट देर इज अ डिक्लाइन ऑफ सिटी ओके सो ही से सिटी वॉज नॉट डिक्लाइनिंग देन ही गिव्स मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स एंड ही ऑल्सो से दैट इट वॉज अ टाइम ऑफ द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लीनेज पॉलिटी इट वॉज अ टाइम ऑफ द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लीनेज प्रॉपर्टी थ्रू सोशल मोबिलिटी एंड वन सच एग्जाम्पल इज राजपूत द ओरिजिन ऑफ राजपूत इज द अदर एग्जाम्पल्स ही साइटेड सो अकॉर्डिंग टू बीटू चार्ट उपाध्याय नो द द रीजन्स वी साइटेड बाई आर एस शर्मा एंड बी एन एस यादव दैट फिडलिज्म वॉज देयर इन इंडिया दिस पर्सन से दैट द फिडलिज्म वॉज नॉट देयर ओके हरबंस मुतिया से इट इज अ टाइम ऑफ फ्री प्रिजेंट इकोनॉमी डी एन झा से यस फिडलिज्म वॉज देयर बट हिज आर्ग्यूमेंट इज डिफरेंट ही कंसिडर फिडलिज्म एजेंस्ट द ब्राह्मणिकल ऑर्थोडेक्स that the brahmanical uh, brahmans were getting land grants in in india at that time and due to that land grant the feudalism came into existence and it was a bhakti movement which rose against the feudal system in india so this is a main so first point is arya sharma and second point is vidhi chatopadhyay arya sharma gives three example land grant decline of urban center city and the forced labor was there that is the major cause and the features of indian feudalism whereas बीटी चट्टोपाध्याय क्रिटिसाइज हिज आर्ग्यूमेंट ओके सो नाउ दिस इज वॉट बी कम टू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट अस गो बैक टू दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट इज देयर इन दिस रिटर्न ओके इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन लेट अस सी दैट विच स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू नाउ आफ्टर वी सॉल्व दिस अ स्ट्रॉन्ग सेंट्रलाइज स्टेट स्ट्रॉन्ग अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सेंट्रलाइज पॉलिटिकल अथॉरिटी एंड अ वेरी वीक प्रोवेंशियल लोकल अथॉरिटी नो दिस विल बी फॉल्स वाई दिस विल बी फॉल्स बिकॉज इन दिस इन द फ्यूडल सिस्टम इन द feudal system the local political authority is very powerful by the central political authority had been disintegrated so this statement will be false in this question emergence of administrative structure based on control and possession of land we remember now we have discussed land is the most important so this statement is true here and then creation of lord vassal's relationship between the feudal lord and his over lord yeah this statement will also be true okay so what will be the answer b and c will be the answer of this question so the answer of this question will be b 2 and 3 now let us see this questions they discuss the features of feudalism in india and how far it different from the european feudalism do you know so firstly we will answer we will write introduction in the introduction we will define what is feudalism that i taught you what is feudalism and how it arose it kaise aaya we will write it then we will write the features of indian feudalism we will write the features of indian feudalism and this will be followed by difference and uh, different differences between indian feudalism and european feudalism okay and then we will write conclusion so these are the important points that can be used in order to answer this topic okay so now let us see that uh, what is the features of indian feudalism and then differences we will differentiate it okay so when we discuss this topic these are the main eight examples of the features of indian feudalism in the post modern period and we can also say in the in the early medieval period okay the first is a vassalage the first feature is a vassalage where the vassalage express their relation of personal dependence 
and loyalty towards the lord okay so lord and vessels relationship is the first feature okay the king will be the the people someone will be loyal to the king the second is a hierarchy of feudal lords different titles signified the positions and the power within the rank of officials okay so hierarchy one someone will be more powerful other someone will not be so much powerful so hierarchy is present so this is one vassalage the second aspect is a hierarchy the third aspect is a hereditary administrative positions now these positions will be hereditary hai na the one by one the the and then the second the fourth will be the decentralization of power the power will be decentralized among different the power of the samant will be getting more powerful the samants will be more powerful and the king will be not so much powerful okay the fifth point is a oppressive tax system and the laborers will be exploited hai na the imposition of proper and improper taxes fits and unfits taxes along with the rent exploited by the labor classes the sixth point is a prosperity was not shared equally hai na because it was believed that some people were meant for cultivation of land and some for enjoying the fruits of the production so the the prosperity was not equally shared the second seventh point is a fragmentation of social formations like the rajputs will be emerging we discussed in the previous slides and then the eighth number of point features will be the manorial system under the manorial system landlord granted lands to the persons who would render different services including labor on the lands of their lord in exchange of land these are the main component and features of indian feudalism now let us see the differences that you have to write the first if we see the post modern feudalism or the early medieval feudalism was based on a caste system like the rajput so indian feudalism was dependent on the caste system which divided the society into four varna brahman kshatriya vaisya and sudra whereas the european feudalism depended on the society based on church nobility and commoners caste system was not there second online the european system most of the power structure within the state did not have to pay taxes like all the saman like all the saman in india were getting the agrahara land grants sorry they were getting the brahmde land grants brahmde land grants so these land grants were the tax free okay so they had not to pay taxes western feudalism west western european feudal lords granted lands to their serfs they granted land there to their serfs to get their own land cultivated to get their own land cultivated but the indian kings made grants indian kings made grants to collect taxes and surplus grant made grants to collect taxes and surplus so this is the main differentiation we found so i hope you are able to answer these questions in this time okay so in the next class we will bring the different type of topic and we will understand that how the feudal system was working i will show you one mar- one more uh, map here this is a map in the time the feudalism is said to be there in indian history in the early medieval india okay the the state was divided into so many parts okay so there were three types of state in the early medieval india one was rajput state south india that is chola pandanchera and kashmir okay and in all these states there were in the rajput kingdom the, the total early medieval india is divided into more than dozen parts and these are the different dynasties of rajputs in the other video i will bring a separate video on that i will be talking about that how the rajputs were originated and what are the different caste and clans of rajput in the early medieval india i hope i hope that you understood this topic this topic the first of the half questions were the half portion of the topic was related to upsc prelims and gs paper 1 and the rest debate is related to the optional history paper but the point is debate is very necessary in your upsc interview also the questions can be asked that do we had feudalism in indian history so you have two historian with you one is r s sharma and other is v d chattopadhyay according to these two historians you can directly answer the question that whether india had feudalism or india had no feudal system okay so we'll see you in the other video thank you so much uh, please feel free to like share and comment if there is any doubt in this topic you can comment over this i will try to answer your 
uh, comment and then I will be also making videos on the topic you will be to uh, asking me to do that ok. So, we will see you again thank you to watching this video at Plutus IS ok. Thank you.